Hello everyone, this is Gavin and Dan, coming to you live from inside the internet. Except it's not live. It's not live, obviously, pre-recorded. Yeah, we're doing a voiceover this Doing a voiceover, we rarely do this, but uh, Dan knows a lot about guns, and he wants to talk about guns. Don't you? Uh, a little bit. We're using a different camera on this one, it's the V1610, it's the same camera we used to shoot underwater. That is incredibly slow, this is at 18,000 frames a second. 18,000? And you can count here, you've got one, two, three, four cases in the air. There's always like a tiny little ember on the edge of the, on yeah, like the rim of the case. Flying out of it. Look how the gun shakes. Yeah, it's crazy. The, the whole th it looks sturdy as hell, and it's, it's pretty rattly and slow. -mo. You can even see when we speed it up slightly, like the, your watch is rattling around in your wrist too. All uh, right, yeah. Pretty efficient machine. Like every movement, movement is for a purpose. Yeah, the firing pin now is impacting on the primer of the of the round. That fires the, the bullet out, and then uh, the empty case gets ejected. So it's being pulled backwards here, using the force of the gas to uh, pull the walking parts. So there's forward. nothing actually pulling that back. It's just no. the force of the bullet going out that's ejected that it's case. It's the gases, yeah, that are being created. And then the next round gets loaded in when the spring on the other side asserts itself, extracting the next round from the magazine. You see the next round go up yeah. just there. It gets loaded into the chamber, and then the firing pin again impinges on the uh, primer of the of the round. Okay, that ignites the um, propellant inside the round, and then that uh, causes the gas to force the bullet out the end of the barrel and the case out the rear. This is my favorite part. You finish firing, you're like, Whoa. <laughs> look how wide-eyed you are there. <laughs> oh my Your god. Eyes. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like you've seen a Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went back <laughs> quite away. <laughs> yeah, you, you 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 did crap yourself. Yeah, on the first shot, there was you. You literally took a step back. You're like, little bits of poo poo came out. <laughs> All right, so uh, now's the part, Dan, where I really show you how it's done. <laughs> uh, my first time ever firing an assault rifle. Especially I think fully automatic. Before this, I'd only ever fired a pistol and a shotgun. Oh, there we go. First, first shot. shot. You can see uh, my reaction time, and I haven't blinked yet. <laughs> The round's already been fired by this point, so it's The right. round has already probably gone through oh, now the, now and the, exited the target. The rifle is pushing back because you didn't have it fully in your shoulder. <laughs> well, the, the I had it in my shoulder, but my lean was wrong. <laughs> I was leaning back. There, there goes the eye. Oh, So oh, I've already killed eye. someone and I'm just now blinking. Yeah, he's blinking. Still firing. Still firing, obviously. I'm not going to let off the, the trigger. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'm not going to baby it. Close your eyes. Just fire. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a nice little vent of gas there. Yeah. I'm gonna speed it up Look slightly so this. you can see the amount that I. You're not in control of that at all. It's well, yes, I've never done it before. Not look at it. I was just told not to let go of the trigger, so th the rest of it was. Uh... Oh, you did a good job with that. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, right, let's try to get this gun back pointed towards the ground while I'm trying to walk forwards again. Because on the other camera, I'm probably completely out of shot. Yeah, yeah. Now the gun has gone out of focus, but you can see some pretty uh, sharp shots of the cases coming out. It looks pretty cool. It's weird after you get to the point where. You know what's going on and you don't blink anymore. Yeah, Every single is shot is like, <laughs> but you just don't blink. It's you weird. get to the point where it's just like you're used to what's going on. Well, there's something called um, a keyhole where when you're firing an automatic, your first shot goes on target, the next one's slightly further up, then slightly further up, and then it comes back round and down again when you get it back under control and you realise what's happening. <laughs> so obviously you've got a, you've got like a, a huge keyhole there, but like target. it's ridiculous, isn't it? Really, that yeah. you're just hurling chunks of metal. And you're not even really aiming where you want to be yet. It's just like your body's your body's not good enough to fire this gun. I can't not blink. The fir the first round is always the most difficult because, and then like after that you sort of get used to it. All right. Well, thanks for watching our gun video. Also, thanks to Destin from Smarter Every Day for setting that shoot up. That was while we were hanging out with Destin in Alabama last year. Had a lot of fun doing it as well. So yeah. yeah. If you like gun stuff, be sure to check out his channel. Also, check out the video we did with underwater pistols. Follow us both on Twitter. My Twitter name is Gavin Free. Also happens to be my real name. What about you, Daniel? Mine is Daniel Grushy. Very Again, good. happens to be my real name. Not Grutchy. Not, not Grutchy, not, not Grouchy. Grinchy, not Grouchy. No, none of those. Grushy. Technically. <laughs> <laughs>